Hey guys, uh, this is Dooley. So in this video we're going to talk about the append function of the string class in C++ and uh, as you can tell we have a lot of choices of different overloads for that function and uh, uh, what uh, the append function allows us to do is to append uh, characters, uh, uh, strings, uh, parts of strings, uh, initialize lists, uh, iterators that iterate over strings, uh, it allows us to add those uh, 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 to the strings that the, the append function is called on. So using these different overloads we're essentially going to uh, make some uh, printing statements that will use them and this hopefully shed some light on how these uh, uh, this function works. As you can tell here, I've initialized uh, uh, some variables. Uh, one is account, which uh, we're going to use in a couple of places. A couple of them are byte strings, uh, uh, which uh, we have a city, zip start. You can probably already tell that uh, I want to sort of build an address. You should probably, you should not code this way, but this is essentially to illustrate how the, the append function works. I have an, an initialized list of characters. I have a couple of strings and I have a, a, a range of, uh, of iterators. And this will essentially give us the first uh, uh, four characters of str2. So you can tell 0, 1, 2, uh, uh, not, not actually, you should, you should count from 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and print uh, the first uh, 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 part the first part of the address we want to print and this is it right here so let's go ahead and do that okay so this should give us uh, 123 okay so we got that all right, the next thing we want is the street address, is the street name. Okay, and the street name we have here is inside an initialized list of characters. So we, let's use this overload, uh, which takes an, an initialized list of characters and append it to the string uh, the function is called on. So let's go ahead and make that call. Uh, let me just copy this so I save you the time and the nuisance that is my typing. So string that append and what we want inside is the initializer list and the name for that is street name. Okay, so let's go ahead and print that and we should get main street here. So one, two, three, Main Street. So the next thing we want is the city. And where is the city? The city is a byte string. Uh, and uh, um, we want to add the whole thing. So let's go ahead and find uh, the overload that will do that for us. So there it is right here. It will take a byte string and append it to the string. So let's go ahead and do that same thing again. So that append the byte string uh, and the byte string is city okay and and you can looking at this here this looks like we're making the same call to the same function but actually we're not we're making uh, uh, this call is to the overload that takes a byte string and this call is to the overload that takes uh, the initialized list so this is a call, the, these two calls are to two different functions. Okay, so the next thing, let's go ahead and print that out and, and see what we have here. So Main Street Naples. So the next thing we want is, is Florida. And here we have uh, a range of iterators that will pick four characters out of the, the, the str2. So we are going to use the the overload that takes 
uh, essentially the first, uh, the beginning of uh, the, the beginning iterator and the end iterator to give us the to append the range to the string. Okay, let's do that. So string that append, and we want to provide the beginning iterator and the end iterator. So it will pick the the first four characters of that string right here. So that's why we're getting Florida. Okay, what we have left is the zip code. Now we from this string we want to pick 42. Okay, so um, this is a byte string, and we want to pick some number of characters out of it. So let's say the first three. Okay, we have here this overload that will pick that will pick uh, the first. You know, if we provide three as the count, it will pick the first three characters of that byte string. So let's go ahead and make that call. Okay, string data pen. Data pen, and first thing we want to provide is the uh, zip start, the byte string, and then the count. Okay, and the count is three. All right, so let's go ahead and print that out. What do we got? All right, see, we got 42. And then the last thing we want to do is get the, the last three digits of the of the zip code. And, you know, let's say we want those last three digits to be nine. So nine, nine, nine. Okay, we have an overload here that will take uh, a, a character and then uh, append it to the string a number of times. So let's go ahead and make that call, string that append. Okay, we have a count. We want, to, we want it to happen three times. Count here. And then which uh, character we want is nine. Okay. All right, let's print that out and see what happens. Okay, we got this right here. Okay, the only overload we haven't used here, which I don't have a use case for, is this one. And, you know, after following uh, uh, these uh, five calls I've made, I think you guys can get that handled. Uh, anyway, uh, this was this tutorial. So we looked at the append function, and you can see that there are many uh, different overloads for the append function. Uh, ones that allow you to add characters uh, or a certain number of characters uh, a, a number of times. Um, it allows you to append uh, uh, other strings, allows you to append byte strings, allows you to append a certain number of uh, uh, characters of a byte string, allows you to append a range using iterators and allows you to append uh, using uh, initializer list of characters. So uh, you have many choices here with this function and uh, hopefully this uh, video enlighten uh, you on how to use them. Um, go ahead and, and, and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Uh, click the like button if you like them and uh, please throw your questions at me if you have any. Uh, uh, thanks, I'll see you next time.